What's up, team? So you started playing Enter the Gungeon, and you love it, but you don't know what content you're missing and how to unlock it. In this guide, I'll walk you through a few things I had to research, and maybe save you some time in the process. First, a few basics. Reloading one weapon conveniently reloads the ones you have holstered as well. Dodging makes you invulnerable. Old news, right? But did you know that hitting an enemy with a dodge roll actually damages them? The damage is small, but you can, for example, kill the smallest slimes with one roll. Oh, and rolling over some hazards like exploding or acid barrels will disarm them, which can be safer than just shooting at them. Blanks are consumables, which reset every floor. Unless you've saved up more than two blanks from the previous floor, you will always start a floor with a minimum of two. The color of a chest denotes the rarity of its contents. If you're low on keys, don't use one up on a brown chest. Instead, you can destroy it for a chance at a less valuable item, which is better than nothing. Sometimes you're given junk, which has a chance at spawning Sir Junkington. He's great to have with you, but oddly, at some point when you officially unlock him, he will show up less frequently. Just wanted to let you know. Either way, when you find a chest, always be sure to shoot it from a safe distance. Mimics are tenacious and can end a run for the unprepared. Picking up health when you're full will save it for later. This means it will end up in the dispenser in the shop or near the elevator after the boss, but you can't bring the excess health down to the next chamber. Speaking of the elevator, the big red button allows you to save and quit the game, which means you can only pause a run after a boss fight. Major progress like unlocking an NPC, new gear, or character will save automatically regardless of whether or not you got to the button, though. After defeating a character's past, you will gain access to an alternate costume, which will be laying around nearby. The game never explains this, so look for the white outline and interact with it to cosplay. There are also four secret characters to unlock, but I wanted to highlight one in particular. The bullet can be unlocked after killing at least one past. You might have noticed these red-caped bulletkin walking around. They carry a gun, but never shoot. If you manage to not kill one and just hang out with it in the room until they disappear, they will teleport away, allowing you to continue as normal. If you can do this five different times, Times, you will unlock the bullet character who uses the blasphemous sword. Once you've saved this guy, he tells you that you can unlock some shortcuts if you find him later in your run, only he never tells you where he's hiding. Ever notice how entering a new chamber leaves a giant hole at the beginning of the level? Maybe you were afraid to fall down since every other hole damages you, but not this one. Inside you might find him working away. Talk to him and he will ask you for some materials for each floor. I wanted to give you the heads up that on the last quest for each one, he wants you to bring him something special and claims that you'll know what it is when you see it. Right. Turns out you'll need to defeat the boss on that floor without taking damage, which will give you a master round. Then show it to him and he will unlock the shortcut. Also, make sure to talk to him in the breach after you've completed the shortcut since he unlocks new gear for you. Okay, the resourceful rat loves to steal things you've left behind. But here's something you can try. Leave a room with something in it and quickly return before you fight in another room. Catching the rat like this will prevent him from returning as you explore the surrounding rooms, which gives you a little more more time to fight nearby without him stealing the items you're saving. However, venture too far for too long and he'll be back to pilfer it. To open them, you can use an explosion or simply fire off a blank to reveal a secret area. In the tutorial stage, there is one of these already exposed, so remember to head back there if you missed it the first time. It unlocks some stuff and a new quest for you. However, in the gungeon, the only way to find these secrets is to shoot at them with a weapon that does not have infinite ammo. Sure, there are a few items which can help you find these secrets, but in general, they're most common in chest, elevator, or dead-end rooms. So why is it that you can do nothing at this altar? To get this secret, you'll need to extinguish the fireplace on the first floor. You can do this with a weapon that shoots water, otherwise you'll have to look for this water barrel and roll it to the fireplace. Once the fire is out, interact with the walls inside to reveal a secret room. This unlocks an area with a trap door that needs two keys. Manage to open it and head down to a sewer-like level with new mobs. Now, when you find this new red armor buff, don't pick it up yet. Instead, finish off the floor and kill the the end boss. If you survive, head back and get the special armor you saw earlier. This armor will always sit at the front of your health and is the first to get destroyed upon taking damage. That's why you waited until now to pick it up. You see, you'll have to take it through the elevator to the second floor and find the altar room I mentioned before. Now put the red armor buff on the altar to reveal stairs leading to the Abbey of the True Gun. I still have yet to complete this. It's wicked tough not getting hit in this game. In the comments below, I'll link a few wiki pages you will probably want to research on your own. There's a lot I couldn't fit into this video, so your journey is just beginning, young Gungeoneer. But before you go, here are four more quick tips. After you deliver the four items needed to forge the, the bullet, bullet needed, needed to, to kill, kill the past, past. 
you won't have to do this ever again. The Forge will make infinite bullets for you after that. Some items and events, like stealing from the shop, can afflict you with a hidden curse stat. Increasing your curse will cause mimics and jammed enemies to appear more often. It also reduces the chance of dropped rewards, except for ammo and money, which will increase. Also, this demon face will damage you if you try to enter it without a minimum of 100 coins or at least one curse point. Alternatively, you can just shoot it with a water-based weapon for a free A-ranked gun. After saving him, he appears in the breach. Interact with his helmet to knock it down and upset him. He will warn you not to do this again, but this is just an idle threat. Do this four times while also saving him from the gungeon after each interaction will unlock a new item. Look in the mirror to find the invisible chest. Opening the chest or shooting the mirror will increase your curse. The chest can still be open if you accidentally shot the mirror, but it's just harder to find. No way you just watched the entire video. Can you comment below if you found this helpful? And thanks to all my Patreons and subs for keeping this channel alive.